Hi there, I'm here to be reviewing the Doctor Who episode from the Christmas special. Before I do continue, there will be spoilers in this episode uh, review because I've seen the episode and I want to discuss what I liked, what I didn't like as much and what I thought about it. So if you want to carry on watching, please do. And as always, please like and comment about what you thought. I want to, I love the Doctor Who community and like your ideas and your theories and your spoilers. Not so much the spoilers when I haven't seen something, but let's get started. So this episode starts amazingly. <laughs> the transition from the first Doctor to the 13th Doctor and having the black and white footage go straight into modern day footage is the best opening I've probably seen in Doctor Who, I'd say. Just, it just flowed so smoothly and I was like, I'm gonna be in for a treat. These two meeting, the witty banter, and it did pursue. One of my favorite scenes between the Doctor, Billy, and then first doctor came out because billy was like swearing her face off and like like bloody oh, all of this and so forth and they were having like a quarrel and then the first doctor comes out is it comes out if i hear any more of this language you're gonna get a smacked bottom something along those lines and i just like crack up because those two are just like and the third team doctor's like let's pretend this didn't happen let's pretend this didn't happen at all i'm not and she's like i'm not really into that so it was like kind of some adult humor which i I really loved being used. So being as which this was the last episode of the era of Muffet, we got lots of different references um, completely all over the place. We got some references of Rusty, we got Rusty the Dalek, then we got some references of River Song, and then we just, we just got bits and pieces all thrown everywhere, little Easter eggs that you had to kind of like look twice to kind of work out certain phrases that have been said even in the last speech that the 13th doctor does before he generates he mentions uh the pears never eat pears which was actually one of david tennant's lines and then another one was actually muffet's not muffet's was actually um capaldi's what he actually said what the doctor means to people and only children know the name of doctor was actually a real life phrase by him and then there was other quotes uh, never be cruel oh, what was the other one let me check uh, never be cruel and never be cowardly. Basically, um, we are thrown into 1914 before the Christmas truce happens and we are shown a character which is actually from a unit. Well, not the time, but he, he's gonna, he's related to members of a unit, which is once back, going back again to the other episodes and just bringing them all together. And we are shown that he is taken out of his timeline. He's not about to be murdered. Well, he is about to be murdered, but he's completely taken out of it. Time has frozen itself. The 13th Doctor and the first Doctor meet. It's witty and it's amazing. And as they progress on their journey with this other companion also, we are thrown into a new world which would like to meet the Doctor and shows the Doctor what the world can give the Doctor, the world, what the villain can give the Doctor if he hands over um mark gattis i believe that's the actor that does it i hope i said it right <laughs> i'm just checking my notes is that right yeah um and basically billy appears the old companion which was a very sad send-off and basically it's kind of like oh it's it's really billy but it's not billy it's basically the villains which aren't really villains through the episode not really are basically known as the testimony they're glass glass people glass kind of like silhouettes that have all the memories of people that have passed and people that are still alive and they can kind of transform into different ones of them they do become the person that has is mainly deceased which we do later like see at the end when we've seen uh we've shown billy again but we're also so shown clara which is such a heart-wrenching scene and makes me cry so much and i was just like oh god here comes the tears so as the episode progresses, we have the banter and we have a lot of kind of references to basically it's kind of heavily pressured that no matter what happens with the series, it's going to carry on. There needs to be another doctor. He does need to regenerate. This does need to happen. And even if the person's a woman or any any difference in the next doctor, it's implied that it's going to still happen. It needs to happen for the world to be as it is and so forth. We're given such powerful speeches and this is probably one of the best Capaldi performances I've ever seen except the episode with Clara and Clara's death. Um, both heart-wrenching but this one was so well done. Different speeches about him 
basically being a child on a battlefield but the battlefield's empty just so many different things and it was absolutely wonderful um and at the end it made me tear up because they they brought back the soldier to where he had to be basically he was like okay i, I realize i'm gonna go back and basically die but he didn't die because it was set on the Christmas truce, which is where the English soldiers and the German soldiers got up and just started singing. And it was hauntingly beautiful. And it was just, it was amazing, this part. And once again, it made me cry. And then we had the end. We had the final speech by the 13th Doctor. And uh, it was, the sunlight's going to just get my face right now. I'm actually regenerating. <laughs> no! I thought it was a fantastic episode. And I... Honestly, thought it was a great end to an era, and I'm looking forward to the new Doctor. Um, I was very apprehensive about the new Doctor being a female. I know a lot of people are like, "I oh, just so blah 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 blah," but I, I've always liked sort of the Doctor just being the Doctor like that, and always the old classic ones. But I'm gonna give Jodie uh, a chance and see what she's like as an actress in uh, as she is as this role. Um, seeing her in Broadchurch. I didn't really get a grasp of how much of a good actress she was and so forth. I, I didn't get much of an impact as her as a character in Broadchurch. But I will give her a chance. The regeneration was a good scene. Um, once again, it played homage to the other regenerations uh, with Matt Spiff, the TARDIS going completely out of control. And also with David Tennant's uh, Doctor also just breaking down and everything, just going crazy and hectic. And um, I look forward to it. I believe uh, the new series of Doctor Who is out uh, October, autumn, autumn uh, 2018 or fall if you're American. And uh, I think once it once it happens, I will be reviewing those episodes, episode by episode, weekly of what I think and so forth. Because it's new writer, new era, and I'm looking forward to it. If you did like this video, please do a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll speak to you soon.